So here's the truth on HR3. You don't have to go that far mm -hmm. to get prices down and stop the gaming. And then there are ways to get the savings directly to the consumer, like we talked about with right. insulin. With insulin. And the Democrats all voted against that. Right. Well, I wonder if they So what are they why. trying to accomplish? They want their solution. You know, they, they, they want their solution because it, uh, and it works better for their base or whatever it is. So, but, but what are our solutions? So one of, we already talked about the insulin solution. Yeah, so um, there are a couple of things. Look, I, I, I want to make sure there's competition. Mm -hmm. I'm a private sector person. I believe in it. And, and I think competition works. And if you put the consumer first and drive the policy to make it what's best for the consumer, then you should get innovation, competition. If you have competition, that helps drive prices right. down. So the only force that's ever driven prices down. I'm not sure of any price setting that has ever occurred in the history of the world, which has created more supply and lower prices. Right. And Could innovation. Yeah. And Where's innovation. the innovation coming from in the world? It's important. High tech, it's here. Drugs, it's here. I mean, we are the great innovators. By the way, there are lots of jobs associated with that. Right. In our universities, in, in, our, in our communities, working on the next cure, the next. You know, right. you look at what's been done as a result of our work on 21st century cures through NIH and elsewhere. They now believe they have a cure to sickle cell anemia. Mm -hmm. If you saw recently, Secretary Azar and, uh, and a representative from NIH went to uh, Congo. We believe we now have a vaccine and a treatment for Ebola. Wow. Can you imagine Ebola, a treatable and a disease that can be now vaccinated against? Um, it's working. And, and that's where we should be focused. Right. Um, and so what we do is both incent innovation through new investments at NIH, but then we also maintain a market that will back that up and actually right. get that research into a new medicine that actually gets out the other end and to patients who, who need it. Now, we've, we found some things. We, we, we found gaming in the system, mm -hmm. where some of these companies, some of the bad actors, were withholding samples right. of their drugs so that the next generic couldn't be created. Yeah, and that's what I was gonna ask about. I know what generics, what part do generics play in this? A lot. And, and you know, that's what creates the new competition, that's right. and then that's what lowers prices. Yeah, and so we, we have a bill called CREATES, mm -hmm. and it says you can't do that anymore. Okay. You have to give that so we're going after We're taking the scalpel to this problem. But let me tell you what happened. Actors. Let me tell you what happened. We passed that unanimously out of the Energy and Commerce Committee. Mm -hmm. And then as the bill came to the floor, the Speaker's office attached things unrelated to that that they knew, right. they knew Republicans could not support. No, they like to do that, don't they? And so, you know, yeah. we had to vote against it, not because it creates, but because of the other things. Then, the other thing we found. Uh, another way the system was being gained by some of the bad actors was, okay, you, you develop your generic, I've got the, 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 the original, mm -hmm. ah, why don't we work out a little deal here so you don't go to market? Right. right. I'll just pay you the delay, it's called pay the delay, pay the delay. so we put a pin in that one. Okay. Um, there was another one similar to that about parking and all this stuff. And then we pass some other bills that get very technical and in the weeds about making sure people know where the patents are and when they expire and where right. you can't. Because what we want to do is clean up the system yeah. so that new innovators can come around and so that competitors have a fair shake right. at putting a, a, a competing uh, drug out there. Because once you, once you get a market created, then things begin to, to right. work.